morning. We're going to take out the first loaf this morning and we'll be staggering the loaves. I'll take the other one out in another half an hour. You can see that the loaf looks cold. It's pretty far down in the banneton. It, it hasn't risen much overnight, but the dough was pretty cold when I put it in the refrigerator as well. So we'll let it sit out and until it proofs and we'll be baking today. So I'll take the other loaf out in half an hour. We're ready to take out our second loaf. You can see how far down in the banneton that loaf is. This was a, around 150 gram uh, loaf, so it's going to take some time to, to raise up to do its proofing. I went ahead and put the uh, other one, the first loaf, in my proofer. So here's the second loaf. We'll go ahead and put that in the proofer. I put the first one in the proofer. I've got it at 78 degrees Fahrenheit because it's only 57 degrees Fahrenheit in the kitchen here, which is 14 degrees Celsius. So I've got my first loaf in the proofer to, to warm it up a bit. It's just too cold in the kitchen here. It'll take forever to proof if I don't do something. So I'll put this second loaf in the proofer as well. I've got this top shelf, which is so handy. So now they're both in there. So I don't know how long it's going to take to proof them, but I'll come down and check on them once in a while and we'll see. It's, it's probably going to take two to three hours. That would be my guess. Okay, I wanted to show you what they both look like right now. This is the first loaf. You can see where it is in the banneton here. It's a very wet loaf, so I'm not going to let it raise too high. And then this is the second loaf, and you can see how much further it has to go. I'm going to put it back into the proofer. And we will get this loaf ready to bake. Put some flour on the bottom and make sure there's no sticky spots. Put some flour on the peel to make sure that it doesn't stick. You don't want your bread sticking to the peel. This is a very wet loaf at 75% hydration, so it's going to be a bit flat and it should pop in the oven. Wanted to take a little bit of the excess flour off. I'm going to wet my blade so it won't drag. Well, it'll still probably drag, but it won't drag as bad. And I'm going to do a very simple score because it's a very wet loaf. There. Now I'm going to pop it into the oven, which has been preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 260 degrees Celsius. And then as soon as I put the bread in, I'm going to be turning it down to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 232 degrees Celsius. So let me pop this into the oven.